Welcome to this video on how to craft an effective resume to support your job search. In this video, you will learn about five important factors when creating your resume. Though resumes are painful to write, creating a good resume can help you get interviews. A good resume has the right snapshot and format to attract employers. Your resume must display a snapshot of your relevant experiences relating to your desired job. It is not a document to showcase all the experiences and skills you have. Think of your resume as a best photo of your relevant skills and work experiences that will encourage the employer to shortlist you for interviews. Your resume must be in the right format. There are three main forms of resumes commonly used today chronological, functional, and modern. The chronological format lists out your past work experience, starting with your most recent at the top. The functional format aggregates your work experiences around your competencies. The modern format allows you to include colors and designs to stand out from other resumes. Each format has its own purposes, with different pros and cons. Most of the time, the safe choice is to go with a chronological format because it is preferred by recruiters and HR officers. Remember to include a cover letter too. To craft an effective resume, there are five factors to take note. One, check consistency and typos. Make sure that your resume is free from mistakes and errors. The font, color, size, treatment should also be consistent. Ask a friend to help proofread and give feedback to your resume. 2. Pick keywords. Recruiters and managers often use a filtering software to pick out resumes with a high proportion of words related to their job description. Study the job description for words related to skills, attitudes, knowledge, and include them in the resume. 3. Choose personal information. Avoid putting in unnecessary information such as address, age, gender, nationality to reduce possibilities of discrimination. Use a professional email address and include your LinkedIn profile address too. The use of profile photo depends on how well taken your photo is. If you're unsure, do omit the use of a photo. 4. Identify skills. Your resume should profile your skills clearly with a skills and expertise section located near the top of your resume. Read the job description and include the relevant keywords from it into your resume. Ensure that you include more technical skills and domain knowledge as your skills. And five, use non-work experiences. Use relevant hobbies, learning, volunteering, achievements, and memberships to help readers build a complete professional impression of you. If you are switching roles or industry, these experiences can be used to highlight transferable skills and knowledge. Now that you know the five important resume factors to consider when crafting your resume, refer to the attached resume and cover letter template to help you get started.